a great pleasure to stand here in my hometown to address you all today. I have been looking forward to this day since I got the information. So yeah, I am here to talk about what it takes to be more as a polo player in a male dominated cycle. But before I begin, I'd want to talk about polo as a sport. Polo is a team sport played on horseback, as we all know. It is a sport that has a way of bringing people together. Polo is considered to be a risky game. It might involve a lot of huge risk, but a polo player would give up anything to face the challenges of this game. Polo is also the only sport in the entire world that has both men and ladies teams and only ladies teams, while there are not been any male-only tournaments. As Sylvester Stallone said, playing polo is like trying to play golf during an earthquake. Crazy, right? But to me, um, polo is freedom. I love the way it makes me feel. The excitement while I ride an animal that weighs 1,200 pounds makes me feel unstoppable. The more I ride and play, the bigger my goals get. Being a polo player has taught me what it really means to work hard and to be part of a team. So talking about being more as a polo player, I'll start with my story. A lot of people get surprised when I talk about how I got into polo, seeing that I did not start riding from childhood. I played my first, I was looking so slim here, I played my first tournament on the 17th of December, 2017. It was on my birthday. I find it special, not just because it was on the day I was born, but because it was on the day I stepped foot into a life I would live to cherish forever. It was on the day I set paths for ladies like me that would come up in the nearest future. It was on the day I made history. Being the youngest and only female polo player, my polo club that has been in existence for over 100 years has ever produced, scoring my very first official goal and my team winning the match. It was a memorable day for me. Deep inside me, I knew this was my own way to make a difference. I have been through a lot of glass ceiling challenges. I have been discouraged. I have been pushed to the wall several times. But then today, I'm not going to talk about myself. I'll talk about other ladies out there struggling like me. However, I would count myself snarky to be one of the few who never give up. Growing up amidst brave and well-disciplined ladies, which are my sisters and my mother. She's here. This is the first time my mom has attended any official event that has to do with me. And I'm extremely excited. So I guess I'll just use this opportunity to say thank you to Onyam, my mom. I'm so glad you made it here today. I wouldn't have been anywhere without her support. She has been supportive, and I couldn't have asked for a better Abira mother, a better mother. Thank you so much, Onyam. So growing up amidst these beautiful ladies, I have always wanted to work and amplify the voices of women. I have also, always wanted to see more women participate in challenging things, and that is why I set goals my family and my religion weren't against. Anyways, I am cutting the long story short of how I became a polo player at the age of 16, which was barely four years ago, which also wasn't the first time I was doing something brave, but it was the first time I was willing to do something without bothering about, about perfection. I was doing it for me. So as I said earlier, I am here for other ladies out there. Today, talking about the society, today when you look at the media coverage, the attention given to women in sports is extremely low. Statistics tell us that um, females make up almost half or more than in the world population. But in reality, we've got only few men competing, especially in the northern Nigeria where I'm from. The simple fact is, here in the north, girls aren't expected to play sports with high intensity or contact, especially with men. Um, so even girls like me, who realize they have passion for sports, do not have fellow girls to play with. So they eventually give up on playing, which makes the rate of female athletes extremely low. 
Other revealing fact is that the government devotes less energy to female athletes. We also lack female sporting leagues in Nigeria. We really cannot reach our potentials as individuals, as a society, unless we make use of the talents we have. The fact that we are not making use of female energy is a massive loss for women in sports and also a huge loss for women as leaders beyond just polo. So what can we do about it? This is the part where I ask this question again. Are you an encouragement to a dreamer or a dream crusher? One thing I'm thankful for is the fact that I grew up in a household that allowed me to stretch out of my comfort zone. And in my quest for knowledge and growth, I kept putting myself in unfamiliar situations. This really validated my thoughts and experiences. Um, I am a polo player and I might be the next champion my country in Nigeria has ever produced, and am I might not. But what I do know for sure is if we can all play part in creating opportunities to engage women and young females, then I am certain that we can make a great contribution in and out of the pitch. We should be able to open up our country's potentials to any paths or directions. I chose polo because it is what I found passion for, it is what I love doing, and at the same time, I am giving other people the motivation to go for what they love doing, despite the challenges. Whenever I go for practice or stick and ball, the times when I just sit and gaze into the pitch, then I literally feel the love of polio running through my veins. In that gaze lies a million stories, pictures and memories, like some mental gallery, all in the life of an equestrian black girl, the girl in love with horses, Ruins and mallets. In that gaze are flux of ideas and inspirations, self motivation, and the strong will to do this with passion. What is my dream? They ask me. Why polo? Why sports? Why as a lady? I tell them my dream is to bask on top two on a sunny late afternoon in the fuck end of Greenery. On the day, I would ride alongside prominent female polo players from across the world, as we top the chuck is a sign of the strength of a woman. I am proud to do this for the gender, for those who cannot stand up to the challenge. I am aiming for the point in a male-dominated cycle where the challenge is outstaging me. As my dad always says, my dad is not here, but then I'm sure he's watching this. And whatever. So as my dad always says, um, it's a popular proverb in Nibira. It goes, which means the farmer that works hard reaps the best harvest. So I am here today to tell you, oh, that's my dad. <laughs> I'm here today to tell you to keep pushing, keep working hard, keep going. It's only called crazy until you do it. So just do it. Um, it takes not just courage to be more, not just passion to be more, not just strength to be more, and not just your dreams to be more. It takes you to be more. I hope I made an impact to your life today, and I'm glad to be back home. Thank you.